Yo, so today I really want to talk about leveling up your ball player in MLB the show 21 and maybe going for 321 and more likes in this video maybe 121 new subscribers to the channel maybe comment down below what position you plan to make your ball player in MLB 21 lots of fun stuff down in the description feel free to check any of it out especially twitch twin gaming tv on there I'm trying to have some daily MLB 21 stream so let's just hop right into the video I really don't know how long it's going to be but pretty much when you're in any mode and I'm going to be the show on any menu. If you see in the top left, right, how it says new, you want to go up to where this circle is. You want to make sure you have this little circle around your profile picture, your icon, whatever you want to call it. You want to make sure you have that highlighted and then just hit X on it or A if you're on Xbox, right? You just want to select that and go into there. And that's going to take you to this screen. As y'all can see at the top, we have three options. My ball player, my profile, my collection. We want to be sticking on ball player. Obviously, you have your pose. That's what my guy's doing right here. You have your appearance where you're able to change certain things about your ball player if you want to, you know, physical appearance, equipment, stuff like that. You have your player card where you can check out his attributes so far for both hitting and pitching, see stuff like that. And then the lowdown. What we're focusing on today is the lowdown. That's the big key. We want to go here and I want to point this out before we hop into everything else. A lot of people don't know this. So y'all can see above me, it says catcher from overall, right? You see catcher right here on the player card. And that is because of this. I don't know what it's called. Is it a perk? I'm not sure what this is called, but that's because of this. So y'all can see up there, it says catcher. Now, if we go to spark plug, it says second base, speedster center field, sluggers first base, starting pitcher for painter, relief pitcher for filthy, and relief pitcher for cheese now one thing to keep in mind is there are secondary positions you guys can see under both of these catcher first base second base third base short left center field so there are secondary positions for these that is a thing so if you're in diamond dynasty if you're looking for your road to the show player if i have him on slick fielding his card is going to show up under catcher but if i go to first second third short left center or right field he's going to show up under the secondary positions i know a lot of people have been struggling with that so i just wanted to point that out in this video as well that is how you find your diamond dynasty player that is how you find him on your diamond dynasty team and as for leveling up your ball player okay when you're on this, you might notice in the bottom left, there's all stats. If you press triangle, you can view that. But right next to it is view program. Now, if we go into here, you can see this is pretty similar. We, we've seen this in a lot of areas of MLB The Show 21. The team affinity stuff kind of looks like this. The first inning program, a lot of stuff looks like this. And we've already progressed through it a little bit. At the top left, we have 48 of our ball player points i'm not sure what they're called we could call them a ball player points for the sake of this and at 100 of them we're at 48 out of 100 we get this new archetype pack and as y'all can see i can choose pretty much an extra so we can go back real quick and see there's a little glove on my icon this is the slick fielding okay we go back into that view program by pressing square for us and all the way at the end then for the archetype pack you guys can see it's that same glove icon and you can choose one silver archetype item focused on fielding and contact this one is focused on fielding and power and then this one is focused on fielding and speed so if you progress all the way through this you unlock the silver one and if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure how this is uh this is how it works if i'm not mistaken once you unlock this for the slick fielding or whichever perk you're choosing whichever loadout you have your creative player your ball player on once you unlock one tier, the silver tier in this case, then you would reset back to zero. And then it's going to have a new little program for you to progress through. Except this time at the end, it's going to be a gold archetype for the slick fielding, right? It's going to be able to choose probably three. I would assume three every time. Again, I'm only on the bronze when I'm working my way through right now. But then once you progress to here, you get to the next one, it'll have gold at the end. And then once you get to the gold one, it's going to reset all the way back to zero and then you got to progress through again except at the end this time is where you unlock the diamond versions of your creative player and as far as i know could be wrong we're gonna have to wait and see maybe if you know in the comment section let other people know as far as i know there's gonna only be one set of diamonds for you to choose from we're not gonna have two or anything like that 
Now, I'm hoping, I don't know for sure, this is just a wish, we're gonna have to wait and see. I'm really hoping that once you unlock the diamond version of your ball player, you're gonna be able to parallel him, get those five parallel levels just like any other card, because on their feature premiere, they did say you can parallel any card in Diamond Dynasty, but I can't do it on my bronze creative player, so I'm really hoping that I can once I max out my creative player. Now, if we go down, okay, we're on here. We're just going to go down on the analog stick or press down on the D-pad. And it takes us to the tasks for the loadout that we have. Again, I have slick fielding. So we can see road to the show missions and diamond dynasty missions. You are able to level up. You are able to progress and get through the program from your creative player in either road to the show or diamond dynasty. Okay, and we're going to take a look at this one first. You guys can see for my slick fielding, we have plate appearances. That's repeatable. And road to the show, every 24 plate appearances, I'm getting two of those team affinity points. I would assume that you can't unlock this stuff by simulating. I would assume you have to actually play some more for getting assists, getting put outs. And then these are non-repeatable ones. You guys can see here, these are repeatable, but down here, it's five for getting one assist, five for one put out, not repeatable. Same thing with 30, you get 10, six, uh, 30 put outs, you get 10, and then 60 of each, you get 20. Now for Road to the Show and for the Diamond Dynasty, it works like this, okay? If you get one assist on this one, you get this one done, you already have one assist on here. You already have one assist on here. These go up together. It's not individual. You know, you don't have to get one and then 30 and then 60. You just have to get 60 total to be able to get those for Road to the Show. And as we can see for Diamond Dynasty, you have repeatable innings played and maybe have them on your team for doing Conquest or Ranked Seasons, even if you want to, and you have repeatable assists and put outs. And then you also have, and this is where we can see, right? I have two assists, so it's two out of 10 here, but I've already gotten 10 put outs. Catcher, it's a lot easier to get those put outs, but as y'all can see, this is how I've been progressing and leveling up, getting towards the silver version of my slick fielding ball player. So now I've gone ahead and switched from slick fielding to slugger. Okay, so now my guy is a first baseman and you might be wondering, do the programs carry over? No, you have to level up each version of your creative player, your ball player on its own. So for slugger, I'm at zero out of 100. I've only done the slick fielding. That's the only version of my creative player that I've used. So that's the only one I've progressed. This program is completely different. All of these are going to have their own programs. As y'all can see, you're going to have to progress them individually and you can level up all of them if you really wanted to. And you might be wondering, okay, for the missions, is it going to be put outs? Is it going to be assists, plate appearances, like for Road to the Show or Innings and Diamond Dynasty? Is it going to be exactly the same missions or is it going to be different? And if we go here, we can see for Slugger, it is in fact different so you don't have to do the same things every time for catcher it's a lot easier for you to get played uh to get put outs and assists i should say for sluggers it's probably going to be easier to get base hits so as y'all can see if you play road to the show with your slugger you can do the repeatable one you actually have a couple there's five extra base hits 24 plate appearances that's repeatable you get two for the plate appearances five for the extra base hits and then just for 20 extra base hits you can get 35 points towards your progress if we go over towards diamond dynasty you can see repeatable innings played and two extra base hits that's for two and three and then for getting eight extra base hits within diamond dynasty you're going to be able to get yourself 35 team not team affinity ball player program points whatever we want to call them so it does change the programs do change but all you need to do is choose which one of these you want for me slick fielding just because it's primary is catcher that's why i'm playing him as a catcher in diamond dynasty is because that's what the primary is i assume if i were to do slugger maybe i'd put him at first base something like that but you can also put him at their secondaries i just think the missions are a little bit more geared towards what position you choose your guy because it's really really easy to get a catcher especially put outs assists are not too bad either but especially put outs those are pretty easy to get for your diamond dynasty catcher and just a catcher in general right i'm pretty sure anytime there's a strikeout i'm pretty sure unless it's in the dirt and you got to throw to first that's a put out so that's really nice and that is how you level up your ball player i included a lot of extra information in there just because i wanted this to be a video i could direct people towards for multiple problems you know how to put them on your diamond dynasty team how to level up how to change position stuff like that i really wanted to make this a multi-faceted video with the focus being 
on leveling up and progressing your ball player. So I hoped it helped at least one person. That's the whole point of me making these is if I can help one person out, I'm definitely happy with it. So I hope it did help you. I hope you learned from this. Like, comment, subscribe, social media, all that good stuff down in the description. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.